Constructive eating makes sets of utensils for children that introduce them to the basic techniques of a knife, fork, and spoon, but in a way that they can relate to. And they make a plate that is designed to fit these utensils. So the bulldozer has a little ramp that helps you load the food onto the spoon, and there's a similar slot for the fork. The placemats follow that same line of thought because there's these shaded visual cues for where the utensils go, and there's this vivid illustration going on, so their imaginations are really captivated. And they're being introduced to the proper placement of your fork, knife, and spoon. So there's this great play between having fun while you're eating and really being introduced to the polite way to sit down to a meal. And these are great for children who are being fed by their parents as well as that transition to when they want to get their hands on the utensils themselves. And they'll open their mouths wide for peas and carrots and then they can't wait to get their hands on them in order to feed themselves. The founders of Constructive Eating, Jackie and Carter Malcolm, had a son who's so immensely fascinated with all construction vehicles, he can name every single one. And late one night when they were really sleep deprived, Jackie turned to her husband and said, you know, forks should really be shaped like forklifts. And as the conversation went on, as they're trying to get back to sleep, they thought of more utensils and how they could lend themselves so well to other construction vehicles. Since then, they've gotten a lot of kids to eat their vegetables and food because they're engaged. The entire collection from Constructive Eating walks this line between encouraging kids to play and have fun while they're eating and really introducing them to the formal attributes of sitting down to a meal. So you learn how to use the utensils and you learn where they're placed on the placemat. So there is this instructive experience that both parents and children actually enjoy.